what's up everybody welcome again back to the channel and welcome back for another nascar diecast review today i'm going to be showing you this car from 2003 it is a chevy rock and roll 400 program car this is back when the racing was really good at richmond and i do have a couple <coughs> excuse me a couple of these cars i think from about two two three years in a row um, this is one of the cars I got from my deck my die cast guy I've got one more bunch of cars to get from him and I'm pretty much done with all the cars that he had to sell me so After that I'll probably start getting some you know cars from the flea markets every now and then but anyhow This is a pretty cool car because that's from 2003 It's from the uh, September 6 2003 Richmond International Raceway from the Chevy rock and roll 400 Made by Action, of course. So most of Action cars are really good and detailed. Um, never really got into collecting these program cars, but just happen to be cars that the guy, my uh, diecast NASCAR diecast guy, had. So we open her up. Show you what she looks like. So it's got the nice, very nice metallic paint kind of see the orange metallic paint in there really nice colors I really like the 2003-2004 uh, cars they kind of nose is really nice I mean the uh, detail in these cars as I said back then 2002 and 3 and 4 and, and on up and I think it was like the uh, early 15s teens or somewhere and the netting the rubber yeah, it looks really, really nice. It almost gives you that Halloween kind of look, feel to it, you know. The black and orange and uh, yellow. So it's really nice, really nice paint scheme on this one. So you got a big old Chevy symbol on the back, which is black. On a black base or black background with an orange bow tie. And you got the Richmond Raceway, September 6, 2003, on the back. And of course, there's no name, but no no roof flaps, which is all right. And you got the Goodyear sticker tires all around. We'll open up the deck. So you see the nice fuel cells detailed in there, really nice. There you go. I'm going to focus a little bit nicer. I don't think there's anything underneath the hood. Nope. So I'm going to open up the hood. Show you that nice Chevy big block engine in there. It's all nice and detailed in there. You see the uh, wires that go in there. The heads. Head exhaust on the other side. Let's make sure a little bit better. So you see some of the plug wires down there. And we're going to tip it over and show you underneath. Which again, like I said, the whole body and the frame underneath is all metal. Um, this, All these cars were all detailed underneath. A lot of things were separate. Some things were painted the same. But they're still nice cars. I really liked really like that all the de all these cars are detailed that's what I really go for um, I don't know I know I, I, I talk a lot about detailed from the cars now to the cars back then but clearly these cars are really nice <clears throat> and I just just kind of I just wish that the cars were more detailed these days I probably would get a lot more of them but like I said the only cars I usually get bigger cars are Kyle Larson cars when he wins um, I don't, of course, don't buy every single car he raced in that particular race because pretty much he races the same paint schemes in pretty much every single race. Certain ones he doesn't. But yeah, guys, uh, there you have it. I mean, it's a real nice car. Uh, I got a couple more of these of the Chevy Rock and Roll cars I'm going to be doing. So I'll show you those. So I appreciate you uh, subscribing to my channel. Please subscribe. Please give me a like. Hit me that thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below. 
And like I said, we're trying to get that 500 subscriber. So um, I haven't looked on my channel to see where we're at now. And the last time I looked was like at 389 or 390. So I know we got a lot more to go. Um, I appreciate all you guys for watching the videos. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Be safe out there. Bye.